Nah, it's it's missing something. Try moving the watermelon. T turn turn the turn the A. Turn the turn the A. There we go, $150 t-shirt. Yo, what up, bro? Today, you're gonna learn why V-Loan sucks and why you're A-Loan for rocking V-Loan. Anyways, V-Loan's credibility has been shit ever since that whole Bari scandal. Just wow. So I'm gonna break it down into three things and they're gonna be design, quality, and PR. And we're starting with design first because... I, I said it first. I don't even think I need to speak on this, but I'm gonna do it anyways because if nobody's going in on this, then I guess I might have to do this. V-Loan. Damn. First off, we got the classic, just one big V, you know, just the brand logo on a shirt, basic way to flex, rocking a massive V on your shirt to stand for what you are, a massive vagina, volleyball shaped hole in your wallet for buying this stupid shirt. But the design is just really a big V, just I'm too lazy to find the real font, you know, but I made a mock-up, you know, it's pretty similar. Next, we got that whole camo thing they had going on, like y'all just trying to be invisible and hide. The fact that there's no effort going into this design. Get it? Because, you know, like, camo, you're trying to hide and be invisible. All right, hold on. Let's check out the store real quick. All right, they got a fragment collab, okay? I got the, they got the long sleeve. Uh, they got a, they got a fight club. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Nah, I'm just kidding. I ain't got $200. What the hell? And the whole quote friends thing going on, that's exactly it. You're piggybacking off your friend's success. Don't get me wrong. I really fucked with ASAP, but I don't fuck with people who don't respect women. Like, you already know the motto. But yeah, like, nothing special here, guys. Really, though, just $150 for a shirt with a V on it is ridiculous. You know, at least Ass Club had four words. Okay, three words. Bari didn't even try to get past one. The logo isn't even a word. It's a single letter. V for very bad. Oh, that joke was very bad. Next up is quality. So for the situation of quality of V-Loan, if you can even call it quality, it's the same situation as Ask Club where they're screen printing lame designs on Gildans and charging you a million percent more than what they're worth. But not only does the quality of the garment suck, but the fucking dude behind the company is even worse. If bad quality items and zero service are not viable reasons for you to think the brand is shitty, the face and the figure behind the clothes should be enough. Back in July, Bari had that whole sexual assault scandal thing go viral and expose his actual persona behind closed doors. I'm not gonna pull it up because this is a fun channel, you know? We respect women on this channel. Attention everyone, ASAP Bari does not respect women. He doesn't respect women, guys. This should be enough to convince you not to buy anything from V-Loan. We only respect women out here. It's 2017. Go in 2018, guys. Respecting women should be the only move. But yeah, like, yeah. That whole thing, that's, uh, that's why the quality sucks. I think the only thing worse in quality is my Instagram, you know? Follow me, at ChristianVY. I respect women and shit, you know? Yeah, at ChristianVY. Lastly, we got PR and shit. How the hell are you gonna let a man sexually harass a woman on camera and still wanna throw money at him by buying a shirt? Does flexing really mean that much to you that you would indirectly support stuff like that? I mean, to each their own, but I don't run with that personally. If your brand's image reflects your actions and you act like complete trash, well, then, Alright, so to wrap this up, if you don't support what something stands for, why bother repping it? Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, and hopefully I got you on why you should leave V-Loan alone. Let me know in the comments what other videos you'd want to see me make, and I'll try to get back to you. Special thanks to all you guys that came out to that hangout with me and Jimmy in 30 degree weather at night. Just to chill with us. Y'all are real. It was hella fun chilling with all you guys. Hopefully LA is just as lit. If not even more lit. But you know, we'll see if we have something planned. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT. Email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything. And yes, yeah, stay lit. Respect women. Don't pull an ASAP Bari. But most importantly, <laughs>